you could see her go into the sink and take out a large red bottle and pour a little bit into the, the cup. Dr. Yu, Emily Yu, was arrested last week on suspicion of poisoning her husband, radiologist Dr. Jack Chen, according to the Irvine Police Department. His attorney says Chen was diagnosed with gastritis earlier in the summer and started wondering if it might have a sinister cause. He also started to notice that there was a chemical taste in what he would make in the morning as a, as a he calls it a tea, it's, it's a hot lemonade. In July, setting up a camera to see if his suspicions were correct. So Dr. Yu so knew what his pattern and preferences was and what he did in the morning that she slipped right in and was administering this poison. We don't know for how long she had been doing it. Seems like a story you'd catch like on Dateline NBC or something after the fact. Uh, the story of uh, De- uh, Jack Chin. He's also now requesting full custody of uh, children with his wife, Emily Yu, who as you saw there appeared to have been poisoning him with Drano, or at least attempting to, to a certain extent. Um, Chin says that uh, her actions uh, follow a pattern, I'm sorry, that Chin says that the actions of his wife follow all of this abusive uh, nature that he had towards him and also their children, which is one of the reasons I think he wants custody. Here's more about that part. The request for a restraining order stating the video Chin took, quote, shows me taking a sip of my still hot lemonade, covering my cup with saran wrap, and then of Emily taking the Drano from under the sink, removing the covering to pour the Drano, and then replacing the cellophane. Yu was arrested last week after Chin went to police with video evidence of three incidents in July. She was released from custody just one day later after posting a bond of $30,000. Chin obtained that temporary restraining order after the arrest, in it claiming you and her mother were abusive toward him and their two children for years. It was Dr. Chen getting on video her poisoning him that he finally broke the the cycle of violence. So some of those instances of potential abuse and anger uh, that uh, Chen said that you was doing is described here. He says, when Emily gets frustrated and yells at the children, she'll commonly use a Chinese phrase that translates to, quote, go die. He said this in the filing, and that's according to ABC7. She also says to the children, your head has a problem, your head is sick, go blank yourself, blanking idiot, stupid blank, and get the blank out of my way. I think you guys can figure out what all those mean. Uh, So despite also having this video evidence, which by the way, Emily pointed this out, my producer Emily pointed this out. My man went to the cops, Dan, went to the cops with three instances, different times when he had on camera of potentially, uh, allegedly his wife, Emily Yu, poisoning him with Drano. Uh, And Emily said, well, bro, it took you three times. You're gonna keep drinking it after you saw the video the first two, one, two times. But I mean, I guess he was committed to want to see a full pattern. I'm not sure if he actually drank it, but he definitely got her on camera doing it. Uh, We'll get to what her attorneys were saying, which is also crazy uh, in one moment. What are you thinking? Yeah, I thought I was reading here that he put the cameras in place after being suspicious and developing ulcers, gastritis, Jeez. and esophagitis. But you know, two more tries. You know, you know, I'm on <laughs> bent for the doubt here. You know, this could have been some food poisoning. Like I don't know, maybe like your cooking is just not what it used to be. You know, I'm willing to put that aside to you know maybe make this work. Oh no, that is straight up Drano. Like no, no, yeah. that's uh, uh, this is a good thinking to surveil, I guess, and make sure this like was the case to be sure. But it's really kind of shocking and scary to see these domestic sort of situations go out of control. These happen oftentimes behind closed doors, so I'm assuming they happen more often than we think, unfortunately. But this case is really scary here because, I mean, yeah, small amounts of Drano, this is the stuff that you pour down your drain to get rid of like hair clogs and things like that. So it is meant to disintegrate. Yeah, it's meant to disintegrate matter that is like in the body or on the body, right? So when you put that inside of your body, it's not great. It's like, like like it says to the side over there, poison. So it, I'm glad that they were caught at least before there was like an actual death here. But wow, what what a wild story. This is one of those things. So check it out. Um, and as far as like knowing what you point out, what Drano can do to the body, you would think a doctor like this would know, or she's a dermatologist, uh, would actually know this as well. Uh, so let's go, let's go to what uh, the defense was saying as far as why she could potentially be innocent despite all this video evidence. The woman's attorney told the Mercury News that his client vehemently and unequivocally denies ever attempting to poison her husband or anyone else. 
is the best part. As a well respected physician, her goal has always been to help people and never to harm them. There's absolutely nothing done in these videos that were in any way illegal. Is what they also told ABC News. The videos do not depict her trying to poison her husband or harm anyone in her family. So the thought here is she's a physician, she's a doctor. There's no way she would harm anyone because she's a doctor. I, I guess there's a certain level of trust and belief we do have in doctors because of their profession. But I'm not sure if that's gonna help in this home situation where you are literally caught on camera doing what you wouldn't expect a doctor that cares for their patients to do. And actually the medical center that works around her also had to point out, hey, all you patients that may have anything to do with anything near her, she wasn't just trying to kill everyone. <laughs> so they had to put that out as well. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence and yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad something was actually done with this. It sounded like one of those like legal sentences where mm. it, they, they paid a lot of money. They paid thousands of dollars to build that kind of legal defense. Not necessarily. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what are the lawyers gonna do? Sit there in court and go, gotta uh, say something. Got us, I don't know. <sighs>